ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಫಾರ್ ಸೋ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಮೈ ಟರ್ನ್ ಹಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಐ ನೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೂಮ್ ಯು ಫೆಲ್ ಅಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಟ್ ನಾ ಅಕ್ಕ ತಂಗಿ ಎದ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋ ಮೋರ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ i have never seen such a big fan in my life but it's still very hot so thank you very much for waiting for me for so long respected shri siddharamaiya ji shri dk shivkumar ji shri surjewala ji shri bk hari prasad ji shri hb patel ji shri muniappa ji shri hk patel ji shri dinesh kundurao ji shri mati margaret alva ji ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಡಿ ಕೆ ತಾರಾ ದೇವಿ ಜಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ನೆತ್ತಾ ದಿಸೂಜಾ ಜಿ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಲೀಗ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಲೀಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಹವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೀ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆನರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಬೀಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟುಡೆ ಐ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆನರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಬಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟುಡೆ with all of you because you are the people of karnataka you are intelligent hard working strong resilient and you have built this state which makes the whole country proud all over the world you are recognized for your diligence and for your hard work you have built so many industries in karnataka the it industry and many more and more than anything else my sisters i am proud of you because you are the source of this energy and this identity it is you on whose shoulders this whole society rests it is you who have built karnataka i said from my heart i believe this is true because without you without you supporting your families going out and working and being strong the way you are and bring courage you could not have built this state you are the daughters of ma bhuvaneshwari and ma chamundeshwari her shakti is within each one of you you have descended from a great legacy of strong women kittu rani chandamma ji you are her daughters your state has a legacy and history of non violence and of equality bhagwan basavana recognize the essence of every human being for him everybody was equal nobody's caste mattered nobody's religion mattered it didn't matter if you were man or woman everybody was equal in his eyes and that is the foundation of your society and your culture i deeply believe that it is women who uphold our culture our traditions it is women who bring change it is women who make our society what it is you know i was brought up by two very brave and strong women the first was my grandmother indira ji i saw her i was 8 years old when she lost her son her son was only 33 years old but the very next day she got up and went to work to serve her nation that was the sense of duty she had that was her inner shakti that her heart was broken she had lost her child but she put her country first and she went to work the next day and That's she continued to serve the country until she died i was brought up by my mother sonia ji at the age of 21 she fell in love with my father rajiv and she came all the way from italy to india to get married to him she struggled to learn our traditions she learned the ways of india she understood and imbibed everything from indira ji and at the age of 44 she lost her beloved husband and even though she disliked politics she took the path of service to the nation and she served india for all of her life till today when she is now 76 years old from these two women and from hundreds of women that i have met through my life 
ordinary women who struggle every day, I have learned one very important thing. No matter what happens to you in your life, no matter how big the tragedy you face, how deep your struggles are, whether they are at home or they are at work or outside, you have the capacity to stand up and fight for yourself. Each one of you sisters who are sitting here today, I know you have big struggles. I know what you face. And I know especially the kind of hardships you've been facing in the last few years. And I know that every day for you is a question of how strong you are to face the next day. It is a question of your resilience and your ability to hold your family together, to fight for yourself and your family. But I know one thing, it is you and only you who can make a change. So I want to ask you today, standing here, my sisters, is it not time for you to start making a change? What is it that you want out of your lives? You want an education? Yes or no? You want employment, jobs? You want a bright future for yourself, for your children? Do you want the freedom to make choices for yourself and to make the right choices for your families? You want it, right? So who is going to give it to you? Who is going to give it to you? You are not recognizing how powerful you are. You are half this country's population. Half. In every single household, there are as many of you as there are men. Have you seen how political parties know that, okay, I will make these people happy, I'll get their vote. I'll make those people happy, I'll get their vote. Why do they not say that they will work for women? Why are you not forcing every political party to take note and to start working for your equality and your rights? I'll ask you a very simple question. I don't want to criticize the BJP only because I'm opposing them. I'm not interested. I want to ask you all my sisters sitting here one simple question and I want the answer. In the last so many years that the BJP has been in power, has your life become better or not? No. Your life has not become better. Have prices gone down? Have you got jobs? Has anything in your life become more positive and happy? It has not. No? So it's a very simple question. It's not so complicated. The elections are coming in a few months. I ask you only one thing. Look at the last few years, evaluate your own life, think about whether it has become better, whether you have got the facilities you required, whether the people in power have cared about your problems, or has your life become more difficult. You educate your children, your young girls and boys to get them jobs. Is this what you expect? You have to pay bribes for bowels, driving licenses, housing, transfer, everything. I am told that many of my sisters in Bengaluru who work in the garment industry went through a very difficult time during COVID. But none of you got any assistance from the government. The government did nothing to help you through these difficult times. We managed to make every political party notice women and respond to the needs of women. Today, even the BJP has been forced to put ads in the newspaper showing what they do for women. So by a small thing that we did, we managed to make political parties aware to the fact that they have to be answerable to women. So I urge you to make this election about you. Jai Hind! Jai Hind! Thank you.